to the Nine, which is the British gastro pub at the Sofitel Obelisk. And uh, this is our third meal now here in the Sofitel. The first one was in uh, Bistro McLeod, French Bistro, just before Christmas. The second with Ericsson was afternoon tea at Bijou Altisserie. And now our third and final meal here is in the British Gastro Pub. You know, I don't normally like British food, even though I come from the UK, um, because they had this special offer of a Sunday roast lunch. Uh, a choice of roast beef, roast lamb, uh, pork, or a mixture of those dishes. One of the packages was with alcohol, so that was ideal for my good friend MK. And the other package was without alcohol, which is ideal for the teetotal British Kabayan. However, there's always a catch. MK couldn't get away. He had to work for lunch. Oh, so sad. But the very nice man at the Nine said we could come and have our roast dinner, lunch for dinner, as long as we ordered in advance, which is what we did. And everything was very well handled from the reservation through to the confirmation. When we arrived, they knew that we wanted a table in the non-smoking area. They knew that we were having roast lamb and roast beef. A potential little problem was that they nearly ran out of beef. But uh, the head chef came over and explained to us that they had 70 people for lunch. They'd been extremely busy. And he only had a little bit of beef left and he didn't feel comfortable giving me only a few scrag ends of beef. So he suggested that I have roast beef and roast lamb mixed together. I thought that was a wonderful idea because I actually was torn between the two choices. Um, he served it personally. Um, it came with the most huge Yorkshire pudding. The roast lamb came with mint sauce. The roast beef came with horseradish sauce. There was some beautiful uh, red cabbage. There was some lovely uh, carrots and uh, parsnips roasted. There was roast potato, there was croquettes, there was gravy. There was a huge, huge plate full of food. I'm so happy that there's horseradish sauce for this and the biggest and the best Yorkshire pudding ever in uh, Dubai. We've got some uh, red cabbage here as well, which I simply love, in a nice little book. And uh, some uh, baby carrots and uh, potatoes, there's big roast potatoes, there's croquette potatoes. Um, the chef explained they were really busy at lunchtime and he did try and keep me some beef back, but um, they uh, only have a couple of bits of beef, so he's giving me beef and lamb. And um, MK is having roast lamb, which comes with mint sauce and gravy, roast potatoes, a croquette, and all this vegetables here as well. So this is what you call, if you haven't seen it before, a traditional English Sunday roast lunch. The problem is, MK was working at lunchtime, <laughs> so we're here having it for dinner, which is fantastic. And it's very rare, most of my viewers will know, that I love eat English food. I generally have Asian food, but I am so looking forward to this. 
somehow MK and I managed to eat the whole lot. And then I uh, realised that we hadn't had any alcohol. Well, MK hadn't had any alcohol. So I went to Master where the alcohol was, it was in the package, and uh, what MK could have. And the guy who actually told me all about it in the first place when I visited last time uh, said, Ah, oh, no, we don't do the alcoholic package in the evening. But you told me I could have roast beef with alcohol. No, no, only at lunchtime. Oh. At this point, I was getting a little bit upset. So he said, Ah, oh, we do have happy hours. Um, your friend could have three drinks from a happy hour menu for 99 AED. I said, Great, what can he have? He said, scan the CR code. And I thought, hmm, okay. So I came and told MK to scan the CR code. But he realised, I think afterwards, that he hadn't been very helpful. So he came over and he talked uh, MK through the uh, alcoholic menu. And then the waiter came to take the order. Uh, and the chef came back to ask for our feedback as well, which was great. So all in all, the verdict is, what do you reckon, MK? Thumbs up? Thumbs up, yeah. Thumbs up. Still thumbs 10 up. out of 10. Um, chef asked what I thought about the Yorkshire pudding, because I said uh, it's one of the hardest things to uh, make, even for a Yorkshireman. And uh, I said, if you really want the honest feedback, chef, he said, yes, please. I said, a um, little bit burnt. Um, but I think it was probably because it was made at lunchtime and we're eating it in the evening. But apart from that, absolutely first class. So, that is the Nine British Gastro Pub at uh, the Sofitel Obelisk. Um, you can read more about it in our uh, blog. Uh, and uh, Chester will put the details after the vlog. So, uh, that's our third and final meal here at the Sofitel We've thoroughly enjoyed ourselves here. I'd like to thank all the Sofitel staff, uh, including uh, the head chef here uh, in uh, Bijou, uh, for looking after us so well.